And these younger rocks just above, just a little bit higher, uh, basically there's very few fossils in here and the much lower diversity. In between the two different layers of life, Wignall hacks into a black band. In here, there are not just fewer fossils. Here, there are none at all. This is what geologists call the extinction zone. It has been dated as 250 million years old. Worrying evidence that having killed off most of the life on land, the Siberian supervolcanic disaster was spreading to the seas. This black clay contains microscopic glittering clues, crystals of a mineral called iron pyrites. Its shiny appearance has earned this rock the nickname fool's gold. It's worth just a few cents, but it holds priceless information about ocean waters where the rock formed 250 million years ago. This mineral, this iron pyrites, will only form in the absence of oxygen. And so, therefore, it's a nice, very direct line of evidence for what's going on at this time. The presence of fool's gold is evidence that the water in which it formed had no oxygen at all. And scientists believe the warming effect of volcanic carbon dioxide from the Siberian eruptions was directly to blame for this lack of oxygen. The ocean circulation is driven by the fact that we have a good temperature gradient. It's cold at the poles and it's warm at the equator. And so you, the water circulates between the poles and the equator like a conveyor belt. But if you make everywhere warm, the conveyor belt turns off and the water just sits there and stagnates and no longer has the ability to sort of resupply oxygen. The ocean had become as still and warm as bath water. And warm water absorbs less oxygen. It's possible to recreate these nasty conditions in a fish tank, in fact. All you need to do with a fish tank is to put it in the window on a bright, sunny day. The sun will warm the water up and the water will start to lose its oxygen and it'll basically it'll stagnate. If you leave it for too long, your fish will die and you'll have a sort of mini recreation of one of the greatest extinction events of all time. As volcanic eruptions tore Siberia apart, Life was fighting for survival in the oxygen-depleted seas. But the Siberian eruptions were about to flood an even more deadly poison into the oceans. To find out what happened